Let's answer the question, is it possible to generate multiple consistent characters in Midjourney? I get asked this question a lot. So I did some testing with Midjourney's new consistent character feature on creating images with two of my characters inside of them. Like this woman in a yellow shirt and a man in a blue turtleneck. The results actually turned out way better than what I expected. So let's walk through how I did this and what tips and tricks you need to know to generate multiple consistent characters in Midjourney. First, we'll need to get reference photos for our consistent characters. I generated a photo of this black woman in a yellow collar shirt using Midjourney and also one for an Asian man in a blue turtleneck. Notice how in both of my prompts, I asked for the photo to be shot with Kodak Portra 400 film. You want some consistency in the style of the images, and using a simple camera film type is a great way of doing that. So for all the photos I inject these two characters into, I'll add Kodak Portra 400 to the prompts. Before moving on, let's use the slash prefer option set command to save our reference photos for our characters to custom names. Just type slash prefer option set into the direct message with the midjourney bot. And inside this option box, we'll give the character a name. We'll call her Lisa. Then click on plus or more and select value in the menu above the direct message. Inside the value box, we'll copy and paste in the image link for our friend Lisa. Enter this command and now every time we add dash dash Lisa to the end of our prompts, Midjourney automatically uses our reference photo of Lisa. I'll repeat the same exact process for the man, except I'll give him the name Kim. With our character reference photos finished, let's move on to generating base images that we'll be injecting our characters into. The prompt format I'm going to use is a camera angle for the image, the base setting, and a description for each of the characters. Then follow that up with the camera film stock. For the first example, we'll try low angle shot from below of a woman and a man walking down the stairs. On the left is a young woman wearing a yellow button down shirt with a Rolex watch. On the right is a young Asian man in a light blue turtleneck shot with Kodak Portra 400 film. Notice how I matched the character descriptions with the reference photos I generated. I also used Kodak Portra 400 film to keep the photo styles as consistent as possible. Here's a base image that Midjourney generated for us. The camera angle and general characters look like what I prompted for, so let's move on to injecting our reference photo into this image. We'll start with the Asian man and use a very region nim painting tool beneath the image to inject his face in here. I'll use a lasso tool to carefully select a silhouette around the guy's face, which is the region we want to add our reference character to. Then underneath the prompt box, I'm going to type dash dash cref after the prompt to call Midjourney's consistent character feature, and then add dash dash kim to attach the photo reference of our character. If we go ahead and submit this, we'll get images where the face of the man has been replaced with our reference character. The facial structure looks pretty similar to our reference photo, although his hairstyle looks off. I'll talk about how to get matching hairstyles later on in the video. What's really impressive to me is that the camera angle of the face has been correctly changed to a low angle shot even though the reference photo uses a centered view. Now with Kim injected into the image, let's also add Lisa into the photo. Using the very region tool again, we'll select the silhouette of the woman's face frame painting. Then inside the prompt, we can see the CREF feature with the link to Kim's photo. Let's replace that link with dash dash Lisa for the correct character. Now just hit submit. And there's Lisa and Kim shot from a low angle view. Here's another example of a base image with two people sitting at a dinner table. I can repeat the exact same process to inject Lisa and Kim into the image. The faces look pretty good, but the hairstyles do look different than our reference photos. We're gonna have to find a way to get around that. For now, look at how the shadows from the environment are mapped onto our characters' faces. 
It really does look like Lisa and Kim naturally exist here. This image of the two of them jogging outside was an interesting case. I've already injected Kim into the image as you can see. Now let's also add in Lisa. So we can start by selecting the woman's head as usual. But if we look at our reference image, it looks like Lisa has a slightly lighter skin tone than the woman in the current image. So in this case, I'm going to select the woman's head, but also drag the selection around her hands in order to get a more consistent skin tone for the entire body. Then add dash dash C ref dash dash Lisa to the prompt box below to add our reference photo. If we compare the before and after, the skin tone of Lisa's hands has also changed slightly to match her face. Make sure to consider all aspects of the photo when trying to prompt for consistent characters. Alright, so let's see what we can do about getting a more consistent hairstyle. Here's a photo with a man and a woman playing chess together. Once again, I've already injected Kim into the image on the right. I think his hairstyle looks okay. But the woman is where things went wrong. If we select the silhouette of her head as usual, and then tag Lisa with a C-Ref feature inside the prompt, we end up with an image that looks like this. The face does match our reference image, but the hairstyle looks really different. Lisa originally has dreads in a bun above her head. The woman in the painted image does have dreads, but if you look carefully, the bun is missing on her head. So instead, when we select the region frame painting, let's also make sure to drag around the area above her head, where we want the hair bun to be painted. This gives Midjourney a bit more room to work with. And just like we hoped, in the new painted images, Lisa has the original hairstyle in her reference photo. Now, there are some situations where it's really hard to control the hairstyle through the Very Region tool. Here's an example with a base image of a high angle shot pointing down for two people walking down the stairs. The woman has her hair all puffed out, covering a large area. So, no matter what I tried, it always generated a hairstyle that didn't match Lisa's reference photo, probably because I had to select a large area team paint. Instead, I changed up the prompt by specifically asking for the hairstyles I wanted for my characters. So for Lisa, she needs to be wearing dreads in a bun. And for Kim, he needs to have a fade. Here's a generated image with much closer hairstyles to our original reference photos. Now, let's try to do the ink painting for Lisa again. Select the region around her head and tag her after dash dash C ref inside the prompt. The hairstyles we get now look much closer to Lisa's original photo. I know I'm going to get asked this, is it possible to also do this for Niji style anime images? Here's a reference photo for a man with orange hair and eyes in the style of My Hero Academia. And also a woman with purple hair and purple eyes, also in the style of My Hero Academia. It's extra important to make sure you're using the same exact style for Niji mode because of how much variation there is in the visual appearance of backgrounds and characters in different anime. For some reason, they both look like villains, but let's just go with this. For the base image, I'm going with front view of a woman and a man in an ancient Buddhist temple. On the left is a woman with purple hair and purple eyes. The woman is wearing a yellow sweater vest. On the right is a man with orange hair and orange eyes in the style of My Hero Academia. Again, make sure your character descriptions match the references and that you're using a consistent anime style. We get an illustration that looks like this, which does look like a scene out of My Hero Academia. When I try to inject the characters into here though, the result just doesn't look quite right. The characters have some similarities in the eyes and hair, but the faces just don't look consistent next to our references. I tried a couple of other examples, but didn't get better results. I think it's going to take some more work before we can get multiple consistent characters for anime style art. I know this guide was kind of advanced. If you want a more complete, comprehensive beginner intro to Midjourney's new consistent character feature, go ahead and check out this video over here. Also, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more guides like this.